you do ads for Jim Beam. I do. And uh, I see those ads a lot, and uh, they're cool-looking ads. What I'm, what I'm curious about is I know that you, there are some celebrities, sir, they come to you, and they say, do you want to do this uh, product? But you actually had a, your own interest in doing an ad yeah. for Jim Beam. This what was, was that all about? This was like a little bit of a joint venture. I, uh, I, I noticed I used to drink vodka, and uh, I drank a drink called the penicillin, which is a scotch-based uh, beverage. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really love scotch and whiskey and rye and bourbon. Mm -hmm. And as I uh, started looking more into the spirit world, I realized there weren't very many females that were in the brown liquor industry. Like right. there were some like people doing a little bit of vodka and a little bit of tequila, but there was nobody advertising and or producing their own bourbon, scotch, whiskey, rice. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and look around and snoop around and I wanna see if I can buy a distillery and how does this world work? And, um, and through different channels, uh, I was joined with Jim Beam in a in a joint effort to like you know one day hopefully have a, a you know a label of my own and learn a lot. And so that's something you like. Out. Now that you've gotten out of the t-shirt business, you want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. Legally, <laughs> this was all done legally. Uh -huh. you know? Legally, Don't so this is me. this is actual. Yeah, this is a real. Do you drink? Do you, are you a bourbon drinker? I am not. I don't really do uh, spirits. I'm not a hard uh, liquor drinker. I like me some wine. I like some wine. Me but, too. Uh, but I don't. I don't often. But I'm always curious. Because would, would you want to try one? Yeah. Do I'll you do, that. do you drink? Yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. Um, funny you should say this. Because we drink. I do. Do you? Yeah. Did yeah. You yeah. Take a little bit I do. Um, well, you I, brought. I brought did I bring some. this out? Because you brought this, yes, and I, did. I saw it back here, and I thought, okay, I this is going to come out at some a, point. The best way to do. Three glasses. Show. All right. I do. I do love too that. That you referred to the liquor business as the spirit world. Yeah. 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 The spirit it's world. It's very mysterious. Oh, uh, hold on, we're about to enter the spirit world. So Mila, what is it we're having here? What is it the this specifically? This is just, this is the, the Jim Beam Andy, White. It's just you. regular Jim Beam. Mm -hmm. Andy's gonna need it's more a little bit that. of bourbon. No, no, yeah. this is fine. Okay, all this right. This is fine. I can wait okay. for the commercial. You break. have to wait. Can I show you yeah, something show that me, I Yeah, I don't know anything. I have to say I'm one of those people that occasionally I get a drink with an umbrella in it, but I'm not sophisticated in the ways of my spirits, what do I do? So this is what I was taught, to drink this properly, like unlike wine where you breathe it in from the nose, you keep your mouth open in order to let some of the fumes out. So you first breathe it with your mouth open, like okay. breathe it in. With mouth <laughs> open, I just look like a moron. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna... <laughs> okay now, now you're gonna take a sip. Take a sip. And then you're gonna chew it. How do you chew a liquid? <laughs> I'll show you, ready? You go like this. Fred, no, taught me this. That's a chipmunk chew. That's not a real chew. It's coming out! It's coming out! <laughs> it totally came out! <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it. It's just like I'm a ventriloquist. It's just coming out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't get Jim Beam offers anymore you know for what? ads. We I'd be can, like, you gotta try Jim this. Beam! <laughs> 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 We're sorry about Conan. He's a complete idiot. <laughs>